social constitution, burning the American flag. Is this the way we really want to go? Has America been built on terrible things? Let me show you. So here we got a video of the American flag being it's burned. To celebrate. So repeat after me as this rag that does not represent the people of the world goes up in fucking flames. America is nothing to celebrate. America is nothing to celebrate. We demand, we demand a different way to live. A different way to live. A different system. A different system. Revolution, nothing less. Revolution, nothing less. Um, I want to say this before we continue. The reason this flag isn't burning, actually, it 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 burns if you put gas on it. But the reason it's not burning so easily, um, because from what I saw, this is a um, it's a non-flammable flag, so it is burn proof. Um, so they are burning it with gas, but just lighting it on fire and make wanting it to burn in a heap is not going to happen with this flag. America was never great. America was never great. America was never great. America was never great. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Slavery, genocide, and war. Slavery, genocide, and war. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. America was never great. America was never great. You know, it's always funny when I hear people talking like this. Um, listen, I'm not saying, like, you want to burn the flag, burn the flag then. You want to stomp on the flag, fine. Um, the Constitution allows for that, you know. But here's one thing I want to say is I always find it funny that people think that, that them being allowed to do that, be, them being allowed to say, America was never great, you know. Them being able to say that and burn the flag in America, that is quite some advancements that we've obviously made. You do that in another country, you might get popped in the face. They might come down upon you. It might not look well for you. Not all countries are. See, what's, my, my thing is, like, when these people are always saying that um, America's not great, listen, I understand America has places to go, but every country does, you know? Um, but there are some criticisms that are valid that we can listen to. I get that. My only thing is that when they talk like this and they say that America is not great, we need to burn the flag, we need to change the Constitution, what country are you basing that off of? Like, what country do you see in the world and you're like, that's it, that's the country that's got it completely right? Or that's the country that's got 80% right or 70% right? Like, what country do you look at and say, this, this is what we need to change? Now, also understand this before I continue. This is not a large group. This is not... Now, I'm sure there are communists and socialists who or who want the world to be, I mean, want America to be reformed. Um, but I saw this whole video once again. Not a whole lot going on. Probably maybe 20 people there. So that's 20 people out of 313 million. E I mean, it's just not too common that you see this, but it's been happening. To be fair, people burning the flag, stepping on the flag, doing this kind of stuff isn't brand new. I know some people would be like, what's wrong with America's youth? This is not new. People have been doing this for decades. Decades. It is not brand new to burn the flag. Okay? You used to see these kind of uh, things back even in the 70s. They used to have some music that was against America. They did not like America. So to say that this is because of the new youth or Gen Z or whatever you want to say, it's not true, man. This has been going on for years. So I'm not absolutely surprised. But at the same time, it's just kind of like, You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second, but it's just kind of like mm, the arguments that they give to me weren't enough for me to be like, yeah, I can kind of get behind the change you're talking about. Saying, uh, never mind. America was never great. America was never great. Revolution, nothing less. 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 Man, this fucking flag, let's just rip that shit, yo. There you go. America is nothing to celebrate. There you go. That's what America, here. America is nothing to celebrate. <laughs> They're gonna struggle just to rip this flag. It's like they bought they bought one of the most durable flags of all time. They, they, they make it so hard to rip that shit up or burn that shit up because they swear that it's a sacred symbol. And on this day, on July no, you just 4th, bought a flag that was hard to rip to up. Wave your American flag and to 
and to display it in pride and to be so proud to be an American, we are here to disrespect this rag because it does not represent the interest. I love how they say that. You know, some people be like, well, I'm not trying to disrespect the flag. There are just people who just, I don't even think these people care about America, just to be honest. You know, there's some people like, oh, we need to change this change. I think there's just some people who just really, honestly, hate America. And they don't want to move anywhere else. They want to live in a place where they can hate. Some people thrive off of, maybe not thrive. Some people really, this is their only passion in life. It's to find something to hate and hate it with a true passion. Now, before we continue on, I'm going to show you guys another video. Just to have see, so just so you can see what they're trying to explain. You see, it's weird because my other camera, when I turn, is flipped. So I want to be turning this way, but you guys are seeing a flipped image of me turning in the opposite direction. But when I have it on my other one, it doesn't do that. I'm done. End of the sub story. Okay, so let's watch the video of the guy explaining what he's standing for. or our constitution right on a day where you're supposed to have reverence for this document that enshrines slavery that treats and encodifies into law black people as three-fifths of a human being right that looks at and provides no kind of framework for emancipation whatsoever this constitution they try to bend and stretch to try to give rights and amend and add rights to give rights to excluded groups we're saying their constitution is bankrupt it has no hope for the future of humanity from the fascist and the white supremacists, from the Trump administration to the Biden and the Democrats who have no fucking answers for their system, they both uphold that slave holding document and that constitution. And we say we actually have a constitution that can get humanity free. Like I challenge you to show, uh, show me a constitution in the history of countries coming into being that actually talks about ending war, not just in their country or for their people, but all across the planet, right? That's what we're talking about. Their constitution or our constitution, right? We actually have a way out of this shit. And that red, white, and blue blood-soaked rag, just like this fucking constitution, is bathed in blood. From the moment that black and brown people were brought over here in slave chains, the genocidal removal and destruction of Native American lands, Right? The oppressive shackles of patriarchy. Just last year, we just gone past a year of women being denied the right of abortion. What the fuck is there to celebrate on July 4th? What we need to actually celebrate is getting organized to overthrow this system. That's something to celebrate. Things don't have to be this way. This man goes on to later say um, that there may be bloodshed, pretty much. You can go watch the video here. Shout out to News to Share. You can check out their YouTube channel if you want to watch that whole thing. It's only a few days back. So it's relatively new. Um, <clears throat> so one of one of my pushbacks is just the whole man. I, man, they always go straight back to the slavery and go back to the Native American. This is gonna drive me crazy, guys. Hold on. Are you flipping? I'm clicking the wrong thing. No, see, that looks terrible now. Mm. Just like I'm flipping this uh, video, people are always flipping around this whole thing with the genocide, the whole thing with the Native Americans, the whole thing with the slavery, the whole thing with um, ending Roe v. Wade. Roe v. Wade, okay, maybe we can have a conversation because that was recent, though, you know, where I stand on that. But I, what I don't understand is always bringing up the dark past. Nobody's ignoring it. We're not going to sit here and say that slavery is a great thing. But slavery did happen to more than black and brown people. Just once again, I have to throw that out there. But it's always about that. I feel like these kind of people, sometimes they really want black and brown people to run the world. They want black and brown people to run America. And until that's happening, until black people are pretty much at the top of everything or brown people are at the top of everything, they will never be satisfied. Like, I just don't see a world where they would be happy with America looking exactly like it is with some reformation, right? 
you know, I've been talking in my videos and sometimes you guys may see me down in the comment section and I may reply to you here and there. If I see your comment, I'll try to reply. Um, people in my last few videos have been talking about like when I talked about black on black crime, the argument was there's white on white crime too. Okay. I was talking about trying to help the black community, but your only argument to me can be like, well, the white man's bad. White people kill each other too. Other countries do it, but can we talk about the black community and trying to improve that? Can we do that? Another thing they were talking about me to talking to me about is that it seems like I, um, it, it, it may seem as if I'm blaming black people for what goes on, but y'all do the same dang thing. I simply say, let's help the community. Let's build another way to make this thing better. And what, what you guys will end up saying to me is that it's white people's fault for everything that's going on. We always are blaming white people for our issues, but you think I'm always blaming black people for our issues. Why can't we just meet somewhere in the middle? Did white supremacy play a role? Yes. Was there racism that played a role? Yes. And do I think it's playing a prominent role today? No. I can, I can agree with you that America started off bad. I can agree with you. But do I think that's the reason to look at our Constitution and look at everything that we have going on and say, burn it all down. Burn it to the ground. Let's start a whole new thing. I just don't understand that. And I don't even hear good solutions. At least what, even if I disagree with what people may be saying, at least give me a good solution. I can't tell you one. I can't say, hey, here's how we make the company constitution better that's fair there are people much brighter way smarter than me who can say that but i think just saying well you know what first of all we need to get rid of the constitution rewrite the whole thing i'll tell you how to rewrite the whole thing where it's fair to black browns and no i just now that i truly think about it do you think a constitution let's say we made a new one for the black and brown people do you think that that we would be fair to white people Let's be honest. If we made a new constitution to represent the brown and uh, the brown and black people, do you think these same people would be kind to the white people? Do you think they would make them make us all equal? First of all, they're just never gonna happen because they are still the vast majority of the population. To just say that no matter what we, I just don't feel like there's nothing you can do to make it seem like we. You'll, you'll ever be happy with the way society looks because the way I hear it sound and the reason I don't think the constitution would be good to white people because it would make it to where you're trying to take a small portion of blacks and put them all in positions of somewhat power, powers of leadership and all these things. But that's not possible. Do you understand that? Because you're, the first of all, there's a small percentage of people who are truly in power, people who are in these positions of power, politicians, your congressmen, your people who are lawyers, judges, and people who even have like these top jobs, lawyers, doctors, you know, things like that. There's not a huge part of the population that does that already. So you want to take an even smaller part of the population and then take that small population and then take an even smaller part of that population and then make them all the top jobs all the leadership, all the positions in power. I just don't see how that happens. So I don't understand like how changing the constitution will help black and brown people. Once again, and you guys can comment again. I've been reading the comments and I've been responding. What exactly do y'all want? Because once again, I also read somebody who said something in my comments who was talking about how we can get back to what we need to do is get back to the poor community. And I've already went against that argument. First of all, you're saying poor community is that blacks are only in the poor community. Fine, whatever. My thing is, is if we, let's say we give all the money to the people who are in poverty. Let's, I said it once again. If we did respiration, gave all black people a million dollars, $3 million, would they be happy? Or would we be happy? Would we be happy? Or would we say, well, it was a handout from the white man. You don't think there's going to be a black group that's going to rise if that was to happen? First of all, there's going to be some corrupt black people, just how it goes when money gets thrown away. They're going to take all of our money or the vast majority of our money. 
But there's all kinds of people who rise and go, I can't believe you let the white man bail you out. Okay? You took the white man's blood money and now look at you. You got your nice little white man's house. You're in a white man's yard. I just, I know that would come because there's no such thing as being able to appease everyone. It's just foolish to think that to me that you're saying that black people have still not got equality. I'm just surprised because when I mention that black people are rising, I don't, already, I don't know why I turned this into a black thing, but it is now because that guy mentioned black and brown. But when we are rising and making progress in this world, anytime I start to mention that, y'all say it's not enough. It is. It, dude, who cares if there's black people in power? Who cares if there's black people who are rich? <sighs> Most people aren't rich. Most people aren't rich. And y'all are just thinking, oh, well, most of the white people are. Well, most white people aren't rich. But yeah, there's more white people that are rich than blacks just because percentage-wise, that's how it's going to work. There's more of them than there is us. Just how it goes. I just, I just, I'm just a loss for a word. I am all for helping the black community, but not the way you guys want to help the community. I want to help America, but not the way you guys take to help America. I think we should get into our own communities and try to rise up and try to figure out a way to make ourselves um, less dependent and less bitter about slavery. Let's make ourselves less bitter about it. Let's try to make some improvements and move forward. But the only other, co the, the, what the opposite I always see is because of slavery, because all this happened, America just needs to be abolished. Uh, black and brown people need to have this and that because of slavery. You know what? Black people with no jobs, slavery. Black people struggling on unemployment, slavery. Black kids struggling in the schools, slavery. Black people killing each other, slavery. And then the only argument I get is white people kill white people too. Man, I'm not saying America's perfect, but I am saying like, goodness gracious. Can we just make a change? Please. Let's talk about something else. I'm tired of talking about this, man. Not about helping the black community. I'm just tired of it be having the white conversation. I want to have some real resolutions. We've been talking about the white man for 30 years now. Can we make some movements now? Can we do something else? Because just saying white man is not going to work. I don't know why you think it's going to work. Just saying you got so many white people who are supporting black people and it's never going to be enough because not every single white person isn't racist. Because there's people who are racist, America's always screwed. Well, guess what? I'm sorry to tell you this. Racism will all ex always exist. As long as we talk about it, it will always be there. And as long as there's even one man who comes out and says the word, says the N-word, oh, America sucks. Burn it down to the ground. I don't know, man. I'm about to go off on a tangent. Let me get out of here. Let me know what y'all think about this video. Do you think we need a new constitution? <sighs> I don't know.